Hello everyone. Today I got a basic redstone contraption for you. So I call this a button differentiator. Depending which uh, button you press from a, a single block, you get an output either on the left or on the right side. So when you press the wooden button, always get an output on the right, and the stone button on the left. So and here's the whole thing. It's very compact. It's um, three by three by three. And yeah, so as you can see, get an output here and have the stone button on the other side. And this is how it works. So when you press the button, uh, both sticky pistons extend and the dropper is activated with an item in there. And depending on the signal length, in case of the stone button, the uh, redstone block retracts before the item reaches this hopper. And um, yeah, the lower hopper always has priority um, from the upper hopper. So first the item tries to go down, and in case of the wooden button, it's blocked with a redstone block. And that's why the item goes into the wooden chest. So in case of the stone button, the item goes through this hopper, we take the output here. And in case of the wooden button, it goes through the chest and through this hopper, and we take an output here. And yeah, here's how you build it. So you need an upwards facing dropper, then two hoppers pointing into it, then you need a chest, hopper here and there, then you need a solid block here, you can take the output of comparators for example. Of course you could change this up if you need the output here, that's of course an option. And yeah, then you need sticky pistons, um, sorry right here, one, two, with a redstone block in front, and this is the input, and uh, also need to put an item into the stopper, any item, and of course you don't need to attach the, the buttons on this block, you could also point in with a repeater or comparator, and have the button somewhere else. Okay, as you can see, get an output here with the stone button, and here with the wooden button. So where is this useful? Uh, in most scenarios where it's useful is when you really tighten space. So here we are on a Cycroft server in our Guardian farm and uh, added some options later and we're yeah, down at bedrock level and it was really tight in space and this is a yeah, nice solution um, to have two inputs on one block. Thanks for watching, have a good day and goodbye.